Pandas drop duplicates. So you'll use drop duplicates when you want to drop duplicate rows or when you have duplicates within a subset of columns within your data frame and you want to drop those duplicate rows that result from that. So let's take a look how this goes. First thing that we'll do is we'll import pandas as PD and then I'm going to create a data frame here. And in this data frame, I will have three columns, brand, equipment, and rating and the values sit underneath here. Now you'll notice that these first two rows, these are actually gonna be duplicates. They each say jet boil, stove, and 3.0 for the rating. So what I wanna do is I actually wanna drop those duplicate rows that I have in my data frame. And in order to do that, what I will have here is I will call my data frame, and then I'll call drop duplicates with no parameters right on my data frame. And if I run this, you'll see that the row two or index label equals one, that row was dropped. And all I'm left with is one of the jet oil stove 3.0 uh, rows there. Now, what you can also do is you can also specify a subset of columns to look for duplicates in. And you'll notice here underneath brand, I have two jet oil rows and I have three Osprey rows. And so what I'll do here is I will call drop duplicates subset equals brand. Now what that will do is that will only look at the brand column, see if there's duplicates, and then if so, drop those rows that result from those duplicates. Go ahead and run this. And you can see here, I'm just left with two rows, one unique row for jet oil, and then one unique row for Osprey. Now what's interesting too, is you can also specify a list of columns as your subset. So instead of looking at just the brand column for duplicates, I want to look at the brand plus equipment column for duplicates. And in order to do that, I'll pass a list to the subset parameter and I'll say, hey, look at brand, look at equipment, see if there's duplicates and drop those. And if we do a double check for our data up above, you see here that we have uh, one duplicate right here with jet boil and stove and then one duplicate right here with Osprey and backpack. We'll go back down, we'll run this. And what we get is the unique, the distinct rows, the unique rows across brand and equipment. Okay. Now, what by default, drop duplicates will keep the first duplicate that it finds in your data. But what if you want to keep the last duplicate in your data? Well, you can do that by specifying keep equals last. So by default, this is first, it'll keep the first one, but in this case, it'll keep the last one. So whereas before, in the very first, first example, we dropped row uh, zero, row one, index uh, label equals zero. Here, we're gonna keep the row two, index label equals one. So this actually keeps the last duplicate instead of keeping the first one. And that is pandas duplicates, drop duplicates.